Okay, what's up everybody? How's it going? It's Beck, aka Dan's Wait here. And welcome to another live live stream in which we are continuing this randomized sphere grid playthrough of Final Fantasy X. So as always, let me know if you can hear me in the chat and the game audio, everything is working fine. And if everything is working, then we shall continue and have another fun sesh. Okay, everything looks good. So before we get into things, uh, so people in the chat, so it's as crystal clear as possible. I've done my best to <laughs> kind of visually make sure that people know that we are not going to be talking about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth on the stream today. Uh, the game is still very fresh. Um, I personally am still probably somewhere around midway through the game. And a lot of people are still playing through, of course. And so we want to avo avoid any kind of discussion or spoilers as much as we can. So please um, do not talk about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth in today's stream in the chat. And I will not be uh, talking about it either. All I will say in general is that I'm really enjoying the game, having a wonderful time with it. And I'm just excited to continue playing. And the game is huge. So that's generally all I really have to say. Uh, we are going to be focusing on Final Fantasy X and obviously uh, we can talk about other stuff too, but just not Rebirth specifically, please. So, that's the that's that out of the way. And we left things off last time midway through the Via Purifica. We beat Isaru, and we are heading towards Evre Altana, and then the High Bridge, and then Seymour later. So some big things happening uh, in this episode. And hopefully, I mean, I'm pretty certain we should be able to get to the Calm Lands, and then we'll see how things go from there. So, that's the general plan for today. I think... So far, things have been going well. We haven't really encountered anything that's truly given us any problems yet. Um, the sphere grid has been quite favorable, like the randomizer. Um, it's, it's thrown up some, some really nice combinations. So some characters like Riku, for example, uh, they've definitely been nerfed. But other characters like Waka, for example, uh, have, done, have, have done very well. And Tidus too. I was literally looking ahead. Uh, before starting here and I saw this little chunk here so <laughs> this is extremely fortunate that he gets a, an MP boost of 60 right here and in general uh, he's doing very well he's got more MP here and so already he's got 172 MP he's gonna end up with something like 250 or more like towards 300 and so things are looking pretty good for him as well so yeah let's uh, let's see how we're doing let's push on and see how things are open there I do love the little kind of <laughs> treasure chest vending machine for items here, but I think we're pretty stocked up on everything. Uh, as always, for anyone that's wondering what the deal is with this, um, I'm sure my friends in the chat will be able to help you guys out, but in a nutshell, the sphere grid has been completely randomized, and I've set myself the rule of basically sticking to everyone's uh, own portions of the grid and not using any locks. Uh, to break anybody out and so we have a randomized set of like stat increases and abilities and we're trying to get through the game so that's the general uh, aim here so let's go there's a gray jade member for 43 months with a dark anima badge it's insane thank you for being a member for so long and of course nick member for 25 months all righty so a couple of um these guys can be, they can hit quite hard, but nothing that causes any problems. And I mean, literally, Tyus can just come in with stuff like this now. <laughs> Let's see how much damage this does. Nice. But compared to their maximum, it's still, it's not crazy. Uh, Waka's TKO, from what I remember, still does a good job here. But we have two pretty weak attackers. Like Tidus's attack is very weak compared to how it normally is. So that's one thing that we're going to struggle with a little. Uh, so we do have to rely a bit on our magic here. Now Riku's not too bad. Or, yeah, these guys are... They have armor on. I forgot about that. Right. Let's see if we can get the TKO to, to work. Nope. Yeah, so our damage output, if we didn't have Tidus's magic here, it's not that great. Did you enjoy the Final Fantasy Union quiz? Yes, I did. It was it was really fun. It was one of the most fun things like that that I've ever been to. It was really awesome. Uh, it sounds like you probably went too. And if you went as well, I hope you had a really good time too. Definitely hoping that they do more of those. It was a really fun event. This guy is very slow, so hopefully we'll have time to get it done here. 
How am I doing this afternoon? I'm doing well. Uh, I already recorded some rebirth to start the day. I've been kind of trying to get up early and get as much rebirth in as I can during the day. It's been a lot of recording the last... How many days? I'd say about, yeah, seven days or so. But there's still a ton to do, so just uh, lots of work, lots of recording, while also trying to make sure I edit lots, because I'm uploading more than usual too. And so, yeah, it's uh, four speed ahead on the channel at the moment. Yeah, I do think there's a there's a pretty strong chance we're going to see more events uh, in the future, but there's nothing confirmed, so you, you guys will just have to wait and see. Oh, Sam, you won the grand prize. Awesome. Good job. Yeah, it was so busy in there. Like, there were so many people. I think there was about 250 or so people at the at the event. So it's actually it was pretty normal for people not to see each other. Uh, it was definitely quite busy. Hopefully, there's something in, in the future. I'll be able to bump into more of you. As Michael gifts five memberships. Thank you very much. An esteemed member of the Dancehall community. But yeah, that grand prize was awesome. Signed figurine of Cloud. I am pretty jealous, I have to say. And yeah, definitely some people in the chat that attended the event too. And from what I know, pretty much everybody had a really good time. Yeah, <laughs> Micah's dropping the memberships even while working. That's the real MVP right there. So, I think the encounter was literally here, right? Let's get some more MP. There was... The chest was later on, wasn't it? I think it was. Alright, here we go. So, show of hands, who did not realize the first time they met every Altana that you could just use Phoenix Downs or X Potions to kill it? I am pretty sure I did not realize the first time. <laughs> it was the first time I ever played. I wasn't too familiar with zombie mechanics or that kind of stuff. I just didn't really know. Yeah, it, okay. I definitely wasn't alone. I think most of us were in the same boat. It's one of those things, once you learn it once, you can kind of never forget it. <laughs> but if you want, I can fight it without um, without using any healing items. We'll, we'll spice it up a little bit, make it a bit harder. Blitz Ace, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Honestly, without, um, without healing items, maybe this could be quite an interesting battle, actually. Uh, let's see. Let's let's face this like a quote-unquote real battle here. And we'll fight without that stuff. Get some shell on. Obviously, the only problem we have here is the petrification. Like, if that happens, then we'll basically get a game over. So we kind of kind of have to get a move on. We don't have any stone proof. We have stone ward. I think I'll change to that. So we have to be careful here. Um, actually, yeah, we already got SOS shell, that's fine. Can we slow it? The zombie gets hit with slow, I forgot what happened. It's one of those uh, wacky CTB things. I might not risk it. <laughs> Creeping in the chat can maybe tell me what happens when you put uh, slow on a zombie. I forgot after my CTB studies. Yeah, we don't want to go through the locks because then, yeah, you will miss uh, the chest potentially. Okay, so there's literally, like, nothing Riku can really do here. I'm just going to attack and see what happens. But yeah, for anyone who didn't know, um, every Altana is a zombie, therefore you can use stuff like X-Potions to do quad 9 damage, you can use things downs. Um, there's all kinds of things available. So we do have a Protect as well, actually. Nice. Yeah, the more Fire Fantasies you play, you more the more you realize that there's a fair few bosses like that that have those types of mechanics. So, let's see what happens. Ah, Demi also works on this one. Interesting. 
Yeah, there's the stone gaze. And you immediately shatter, or you don't. Oh, okay. I think... I'm trying to remember. Do you shatter immediately? Is it like your razor? I don't think it's like your razor. Hmm. But yeah, the stone wall, I think, helped me there. Yeah, barely anything I can do here with Riku. And she's going to get hit with those counters quite a lot, so we have to be careful. Underwater, you always shatter instantly, yeah. So this is why it's such a dangerous battle here. We have to be careful. I think I'm not going to use Riku to attack. I don't think that's a clever idea. You haven't missed much at all. We're only just getting going here. It's the first battle. Well, we do have use, which I kind of forgot about. Also... I think he has a stone ward as well. Yes, he does. Okay. So you can see when you when you don't like make use of the zombie stuff, you can really get yourself into a serious battle here. So we don't want to stick around for too long could be in trouble. We do. I'm just too scared to cast slow on it. <laughs> I feel like something very bad would happen if I do. I'm just going to sit tight for now. Sleep Buster, gonna be immune to that. Lightning Marble, nah, not worth it. Right, if we can survive, not get stone gazed here. Oh god, here we go. Okay, we survived. I don't know what percentage that stone gaze is. Is it like 100% hit rate? Not sure. Not attacking with Riku. I'm just going to wait this out. So it's a bit of a slow battle here. And you can see only 300 damage from Tidus if I try to do a normal attack. I've never fought this battle normally. It's one of those things, if you knew it in advance, there's just no reason to fight it. Like, unless you're doing a challenge run, there's just no need. So you just fight it the easy way. Let's try to do an element reels, which I've been very bad at so far. I don't think it matters which element you get, so that might help. There we go. That's some nice damage. Voidling had a super cool challenge battle against this boss where he actually uses the fact that he delays zombies to deny its turns. That's really smart. Yeah, Voidling's a genius. He's done some amazing challenge runs over the years. If anyone has never seen Voidling's content before and you're into, like, your hardcore Final Fantasy challenge stuff, uh, definitely Google him. Not Google him. YouTube him, I guess. Uh, look for his channel and uh, you'll see some really cool stuff. So far, so good. Yeah, Zombie has some very interesting CTB mechanics, for sure, that can be exploited. So, Karifian, what does happen if we um, if we try to cast slow? I don't. I don't remember. It's all there's some things like some things work in reverse, some things don't. I don't remember. Slow works as normal. But is it even susceptible? I just forgot if there's a delay effect that comes with slow. Just missed. Right, okay. I've been quite fortunate here, none of these have affected me. It did say miss for slow, maybe it has resistance, not immunity. Zombie just reverses the haste spell CTB cure effect to be CTB damages. Okay, yeah. That makes more sense. I 
<laughs> underwater water get. To be fair, yeah, I should I should use that. Right, we're doing okay so far, mostly because we haven't been um, we haven't been shattered. And this attack is relatively weak. Almost there. <laughs> Let's use a water go. Underwater. <laughs> ah, stone wall gives full protection versus stone gaze. So stone gaze's, uh, I guess, affliction rate is not high enough to cause problems. That's good then. So it's only Riku that's vulnerable here, I think. Yeah. Nice. Is there an overkill benefit for this guy? It's 50% this fight. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, we've only got 10 X potions, so I don't want to, like, overkill it with an X potion or something. But yeah, does anyone know if there's anything good, like worth, what is the overkill for this guy, and if it's worth doing? I don't think so. No. I could just use a Phoenix Down. I think Phoenix Down does damage. Let's see. We've basically won the fight already. I forget if Phoenix Down just does quad 9 damage or if it kills it in one hit. I think it might be quad 9 damage, but let's see. Yeah, okay, it does, like, half its health well. Cool. Nice. Let's see what it drops. Yeah, at least I showed you guys the best of both worlds. We did a normal fight, but then I showed you what the, the healing items can do as well. So you do get black magic spheres here and a soft shield. Okay. Yeah, good job remembering the exact number, I have to say. And I do like the fact that I think from here on you don't have any encounters for the rest of this bit. We now have a second evade encounter. Nice. Yeah, we should be good. It's very quiet. Yeah, people yelling at the screen while I play video games, that's that's kind of my job. That's what I do. Yeah, it's just eerily quiet when you beat um <laughs> when you beat every without unlocking any gates. <laughs> it's too quiet. Yeah, just a nice, quiet swim through the depths. Yeah, to be fair, I'm not even. I don't even remember the whole. If I ever properly used the gates the first time I played, I probably like the earlier fights I had against it. Did I get both chests? Shit, maybe I missed it. I was looking at the Yanny! chat. Oh, well, it's fine. What You're was in the right? second one? We were so worried. It's good to have you back. I think it's an Avenger. We already have like two of those or something. Thank you. That's fine. Um, I... Yeah. Uh... I think I've already got two, literally, or something. It's fine. Rep Keenock. The way he just gets dropped. Enoch. Why you? I have saved him. <laughs> he was a man who craved power. And great power he had, but he feared losing it. Trembling at unseen enemies, he spent his days scheming petty schemes. Chased by his fears, never knowing rest. 
You see, now he has no worries. He has been granted sleep eternal. Great voice Death over work is a again. Sweet slumber. All the pain of life is gently swept away. Ah, yes. So you see, if all life were to end in Spira, all suffering would end. Don't you see? Sound logic. Do you not agree? That, Yuna, is why I need you. Come, Lady Yuna. Come with me to Xanarkand, the lost city of the dead. With death on our side, we will save Spira. And for this, I will take from you your strength, Yuna, your life, and become the next sin. I will destroy Spira. I will save it. You're totally nuts. Oh, wait. Unpleasant. <laughs> I love that. Very well. I will give you your death. You seem to want it so. I mean, it's pretty badass the way he, it sounds like he literally gets stabbed. There's like a fleshy noise. It sounds like it actually pierces him a bit there. And it's just like, oh, unpleasant. Sheesh. It's a great line, the unpleasant. That's a great shot there. Run! Protect Yuna! Go! No way! I'm fighting! I said go! Or I'm getting serious. Great moment here. He's a guardian. Protecting you is everything. Oren! That's right. We're all guardians. Yeah, and you know what that means? Yuna, anywhere you go, I'll follow. Anywhere I go? Yeah, anywhere. Well then, let's, let's go. go. Great hey, moment. Kamari, leave some for us. Hey, wait for me! Me too! <laughs> I love that Lulu's the last one to be convinced. I'll go too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he respects that. I think that's just a great moment. It really is. Because it's like everyone always looks to, to Oren and he's always, you know, making the right call. He knows he's like the, the OG legendary guardian and stuff but here they all basically defy him and they say nope we are friends we are family we're gonna look after each other we're gonna leave no one behind and so i love the fact that Oren completely gets that outvoted there and then it's like nope we are gonna go down to save kimari and then he ends up agreeing and coming along for the fight you're quite popular these days eh? <laughs> anything you want i've got it. this is the only time in the game Yuna doesn't call Oren sir you can tell she's not having this bullshit <laughs> Yeah, I think Oren, like, saying, you know, the pilgrimage, the summoner is everything. It's Kimari's job to put his life on the line, just leave him behind. I don't think that's one of his greatest moments, I have to admit. But it leads to a great party moment Traitor as a result. So. Lady Yuna's always been a friend to a walker. Okay. So, this is the Notorious High Bridge. And yes, uh, people asked in the chat if this is a good grinding spot. Yes, indeed it is. It is one of the best. Um, as I've said, I'm not going to play the grinding game here. We're, we've been generally just pushing through. Even then, like we're making very good progress. Um, in part as well, because I do have the mod that gives everybody uh, AP. So even if they're not in the fight, they still get uh, AP, which I think definitely helps. So we definitely don't need to do any grinding right now. It's a good grinding spot if you hate Kimari. Unfortunately, uh, 
in this run at least, Krimari is still pretty nerfed. I think once we're done with all of this, we'll have a look at his grid and we'll decide um, where to take him. For now at least, I think we said we just use purple spheres for him. And then we'll go from there. Okay. So... Yeah, it's a good place for Yuna to catch up as well, that's true. Because normally, obviously, she'd be quite far behind. Um, I'm not really sure if any of these are going to help in particular. I think the, are the flame guys here? I think the flame guys are here, so fire protection, I guess, would help if you have it. But we don't. So first strike, Titus definitely should be there. Waka still, I think, should be there. Uh, let's go with Lulu. Okay, let's roll. Yeah, two flame boys. Um, this guy, if left alone, I think it does the thrust kick ejection thing, so we should still probably go for it. I think first of all I'm going to take one of the flame guys out. Oof, nice. But if it wasn't a critical it wouldn't be a one hit KO. So gotta watch out. Also a good place for the fresh new rematch that we've gotten. Um, I'm pretty sure this pretty much negates all of this guy's attacks. Other than thrust kick I guess. So also useful. We don't have Evade Encounter, but what we, we basically I missed an Avenger, but I've got what three? How the hell did I get? How did I get four Avengers? What the hell happened? Shish. Okay. <laughs> um. Once again, Titus, one of the the best damage dealers here for us. But 1,100 not the best. Yeah, like, I can't remember the last time I had four of them, though. Four is pretty crazy. Now, remember Lulu's become a bit of a physical powerhouse now. Let's see how much damage she's doing. Nice. I mean, almost as much as Waka and Oren. That's pretty good. Yeah, 10 is still good enough to, to last in the new era. I do agree. It's it's still a ways from a remake. But that's what I would assume. But at the end of the day, I've always said it's most of this remake business is mostly a business decision as opposed to which game needs it the most. It's about which game do they think can make them the most money if they remake it. I mean, <laughs> The Last of Us is a great example. You guys have seen how many times they've remastered and remade The Last of Us. And that's a game that came out in 2013. And so... There's nothing stopping them really from remaking Final Fantasy X, uh, announcing it this year, next year, whatever, if they think it's going to get them the money. So, I mean, why not? When this battle ends, can you show me how many ability points you get? Yeah, um, it's. Uh, I will have a look. It should be. Oh, I mean, something like. I want to say like 6,000 range, but depending if you get like overkills and whatnot. But whatever. Yeah, this is one of the nastier encounters here. Uh, yeah, okay. Between 4,000 and 8,000, I remembered 6, so. There we go. There's not too many battles to fight here if you just go straight forward. Benji, thank you for the donation and thanks for hanging out in the stream once again. Good to see you. And another critical for Mora and he's not playing around. But basically the evade encounter makes you pretty safe here. <laughs> Nick with the Fire Fantasy 9, 7 loop bribe. It's not going to happen. We don't take bribes around here. <laughs> 
but I always appreciate your love of Final Fantasy IX. Wow, look at that. 2,000 damage on a critical from Lulu. What a badass. Evade encounter works for that as well. Oh yeah. And there it is. So we're still keeping um, the teleport spheres in the back pocket. So I got 7,480 AP there. I think that's probably one of the highest ones. And we did get an overkill there as well. Um, so yeah, lots of AP here. Definitely a great place to hang out if you like being OP. Or if you feel you're a bit behind the curve and you want to catch up. You can basically get to the end of your sphere grid here pretty easily. Inward Xenon, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. More magic, we'll have that. Excellent. How much more magic are we getting? A nice plus four here. And plus two. We're getting six more magic in total. Yeah, 30. Okay, fine. It's not brilliant, but it'll do. Yeah, I do think if there was ever a game for the Square Enix to remake and try to keep the OG system, I do think it's 10. But you just don't know anything anymore. They, could, they can do anything at this stage. But I do think it would definitely, it would definitely work. I have to believe that if they remake Final Fantasy X in the next 10 years, let's say, most of the people buying it, like the majority of people, will be people who've played it before. They keep obviously trying to bring in new players and all of that kind of stuff, but I've always said it, I still feel like it's the same people buying these games. Like the majority of people buying these games, it has to be us, like people who've already been playing the franchise and stuff. And so if you assume that the majority of your audience... You with us, Oren? I am a guardian too, you know. <laughs> I like that little exchange. But yeah, if, if we assume that it's generally mostly us, we're not going to be too sad if they just make the game look really gorgeous and they change up other elements but they keep the, the CTV system, I really think it's not going to cause some kind of outcry among the majority of players. I really don't. So, yeah. But that counts for pretty little. We just don't know when it's going to happen or what their vision is. It really could be anything. Blitzball mobile game to go along with it. I totally agree. Absolutely agree with that. That'd be yeah. awesome. Well, we need... <laughs> Reel's talking about VR. Imagine Blitzball in VR. <laughs> That'd be super. All right, see you later, Blitz Ace. Take, take care. Thanks for dropping by. Damn, the magic defense is good. But yeah, those, the, they hit really hard. If you don't have a Vayne counter. As you can see. <laughs> you want Durin five dollars. Hey, if it's gonna get us Durin, I think if there's one blitzer that's worth the five dollars is Durin. We can finally solve that conundrum. He's just been waiting for a bribe all along. Farewell. But yeah, my money's still on Five Fantasy Nine remake next. That's that's where I think they're gonna go next. Final Fantasy IX Remake, and I think it's going to be... That's another game where I think they have an opportunity to, to not have as much of a kind of hybrid, action-y kind of style. They can also keep Final Fantasy IX with a more old-school ATB kind of feel because um, of the art style and just like how the OG was. So I think that's another game that shows promise. Um, I have a feeling if they are going to remake IX, it might be a bit more of a... Like, it won't be as extensive as Seven Remake. And so I think it might be this nice kind of middle ground. Maybe like one step up from something like Crisis Core Reunion to Crisis Core. And then I think that would make a lot of people very happy. So I think my money's still on nine to come next. Okay. So. We are facing Natus. It's been a long time since I fought Natus. And Natus can definitely be a very dangerous 
opponent, depending on what tools we have. So, one thing I definitely remember is that it has a petrification attack, where I, th I don't know if stone ward will be enough, or if it's unless you have proof, you definitely get hit by it. I'm sure. Then it has powerful elementals as well. So a, a lot can go wrong in this fight. And if you're using a lot of um, buffs, I think that also counts against you. But yeah, Yuna's HP, man, only 1,500 cents of her, compared to everybody else, is very bad. Okay. For now, I'm going to go with something like this, and we'll just see what happens. I don't think we'll ever see another remake on the scale of 7 Remake. No other game in the franchise demands it. Possibly, it's hard to say though. I mean, 8 is a pretty huge game. Um, it doesn't have, obviously, the, the fan base of 7, even though it's, it is one of the more popular ones. Like, I think the 7 fan base is so enormous that it would justify making a whole trilogy of AAA games. I don't think 8 would be as sure a bet to do that. But in terms of, like, could they split 8 across 3 titles? I could, I could see that they could do that. Okay. Save some for us, Kimari. Now, we do have Bio. That's one thing I remember. And we have Reflect. Ah. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. I kind of forgot about that. Okay. I'm going to start with a bit of this. I think Bio should hit. And the, another thing, like Seymour being susceptible to poison is one of those things that I just, obviously, early on, I just always assumed it's just not a thing. Good to see you again, Lady Yuna, but you don't seem pleased. I'll only be pleased when you're gone to the far plane. Ascending. So soon. So, Thandara Bio Drain. Regen. Some nice stuff here. Mm. I'm just thinking attackingly who's going to be the best option. You can basically just tank the entire thing and never leave the first phase. Um, and just let poison damage kill it, if you want to. Um, but I think even with the talk command, I don't think it's working so well for us. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring in Auron here. I think he would do a lot of damage uh, once he's spoken as well. <laughs> we should try death. <laughs> let me just speak first. Although he was not the man I once knew. Kinok was still my friend, Seymour. You will pay for his death! Yeah, that you will pay for his death. There's a lot of weight behind it. Alright, here we go. Yeah, these these spells hit hard, man. Okay. I mean, let's just try a demi here. Yeah, okay, it's worth a try. Um, let's go for that. That's pretty nice damage. And I'll take my chances here. And use an outbed potion. See you later, Jojo. Thanks for dropping by. So we're going to um, get to work on Auron a bit here. I'm not 
wish I want to reflect everyone. That's a dangerous game. I don't use reflect too often. It's the kind of thing that you could do and then end up messing up. But... Um... I am going to give it a go. Let's just see what happens. I'll reflect one person for now. And see how we go. <laughs> to, to be fair, we do still have auto life as well. So for now, I'm just going to keep it on just the one person. Because also when you get a bunch of buffs on people, they're more likely to dispel it. But that's working well so far. Seymour! So, you too seek freedom from this painful life? You talk too much, Seymour. There you go. Again, not sure if it's going to be a difference maker here, but... So, let's see how much damage he can do. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, we should be fine. Now we're going to slip into the break phase here, which we have to be a bit careful of. I don't think we have Dispel on anybody. That's what we don't have. Okay. Evade Encounter. Did Death work on him? I haven't used Death, uh, but Demi didn't work. Like, I've got to assume Death doesn't work either. But. We've got the poison damage to help us chip here. Also, I'm going to swap to this. We'll see if it helps. I don't remember if the, the rate was 100% here or not. Ah, there you go. Perfect. Why do you say 70% of my body is Final Fantasy X? Well, aside from me just obviously being a huge, huge fan of the game and it making up so much of my life at this point, um, I got inspired by Hideo Kojima, his... Um, the director creator of Metal Gear Solid. Um, his like social media bio is basically I am it's like I am 70% movies or something like that. And I just saw that and I was like, I'm 70% Final Fantasy 10. So that's where it comes from. Uh, let's just try death anyway. It, it definitely shouldn't work. This would be outrageous. Yeah. Okay. you do anything attackingly that would help? Do any of the brakes work on him? It's worth a try. Hmm. Something broke there. I need to see what it was. Evade encounter. Very nice. Power break. Yeah, okay, that's not great. Not sure if they can be slowed here. Let it try. Why not? Immune. There's not too much we can do at the moment. We're just slowly working our way through. We just have to be wary of flare. The phase should be coming soon, so we've got to watch out. Okay. 
continues. I think we have to get him under 12,000 for the player phase to start. Q's going for Walker, which is working for me. I think. Can we get a kill against him? Yeah, we should be able to. Okay. Um. Do a bit of that, and then we'll just start to work our way through. Get some extra damage. Yeah, Oren's battle quote in this in this one is great. So we prepped ourselves with Shell before anything happened, and so we're doing okay. Now, just in case, I am going to heal. Thanks for the reminder, I got the MGS remaster, I forgot to play it because I was too excited, but <laughs> understandable. So yeah, that attack can be a bit of a problem as well. I think I'm going to use Waka mostly to heal here, just in case. Let's use the Spiral Cut. We still, we still don't even have Slice and Dice yet. That's good damage. Can we finish it with a shooting star? Finish it in style. Yes, there we go. He paid for his death. All right, lots of story coming up now. All right, good stuff. What did we get? Frostblade. That's a bit lame, no? Surely you can get better stuff than that. We escaped with our skins intact, but Yuna lost something. Great line. I could already tell her faith was shaken. Yevon had betrayed her. I felt like I should do or say something, anything. But nothing came. I was just as lost as she was. And then... And then... Well? We're all clear. We will have to avoid Bevel in the future. Yuna? Said she wanted to be alone. Of course. Tide is like, but not for long. Okay. So that was a big fight, but. We Maybe did well. you should talk to her. <laughs> Aura knows what's up. Alrighty. <laughs> Best romances in Final Fantasy. I, I still think Titus and Yuna gotta be gotta be up there, man. Must be tough for Yuna. Wonder what Yuni'll do, huh? Think she'll quit her pilgrimage? That's what you want, right? But surely Sarah and Snow. Well. Best Final Fantasy romance if story. If Yuni really wants to keep going, then I guess I shouldn't stop her. You know? That's what I think anyway. I love donuts. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining us. Good to see you. Yuna's off in the woods. Kumari's with her, but maybe you should go too. <laughs> Don and Barthello in ten, yes. Silence just points. All right, here we go, guys. It's that scene. I always thought that this would be easier somehow. I thought that everyone would help me with all my friends together beside me. I've been trying so hard. It's been a while since I watched this scene fully. Maybe you're trying too hard. 
They told me. Everything. Everything? Well, so then... You know. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's just... You know... All those things I said. Like, let's go get Sin, or about Xanarkand. I didn't know what would happen to you, Yuna. I guess... I hope it didn't make you sad. Yeah, I do feel bad for you. Forgive me. I wasn't sad. I was happy. <gasps> the reflection in the water and stuff does very cool as well, I have to say. For its time. Yuna! Just don't do it. The pilgrimage? <sighs> no, yeah. That's right. Forget all about sin. Uh, about being a summoner. Forget all of that. Mm, you know, live a normal life. Come on now, Yuna, what do you say? Maybe I will. When she said that, I was like, wait, what? The first time I heard it. Wouldn't everyone be surprised? Yeah. Except Riku. She'd be with you. Lulu and Waka wouldn't hold out long. Kamari would say yes, too, I know. But Sir Oren. I'll make him understand, Yuna. It's the least I can do for you. Yeah, I think as a kid, the first no, time I ever watched the scene, tell him. I thought he genuinely he might be convincing her and we're going it. a different direction. Like the, she might actually decide to not do the pilgrimage and we'll do the whole find another way already at this stage. As a kid, I was like starting to get convinced that this might have actually worked. <laughs> What'll I Great do shot here. If I give up my pilgrimage. Such a beautiful scene. So well shot. Mm. Hey, Xanarkin. Let's go to Xanarkin. Uh, uh, not the one in Spira, the one I'm from. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, we can all fly there. Everyone can go. Then we'll have a big party yeah, at my then place. Things started to get more and more and then we could see silly like this, and I was That's like, right. okay. Your Xanarkin Abes would play. This isn't happening. Yeah. We could all watch you play in the stadium, all lit up at night. I cheer and cheer till I couldn't cheer anymore. Yeah, right on. Well, what about after the game? Huh? We'd go out and have fun. In the middle of the night? <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Xanarkin never sleeps. Just like the 24-7 stream on the channel. Hashtag shameless plug. Let's go to the sea. Before the sunrise. The city lights go out one by one. The stars fade. The theme kicks in. Then the horizon glows, almost like it's on fire. It's kind of rose-colored, right? First in the sea, then it spreads to the sky, then to the whole city. It gets brighter and brighter, till everything glows. It's really pretty. I know you'd like it. Mm. Yeah, I think the voice work in this scene's pretty good as well, considering it can I'd have like its to see it up and downs. Someday. Like they sell the scene well, I well, think. Well you can, Yuna. We can both go. You, 
you happen? I can't. I just can't. Yeah, this song is great, but I love it within this scene, personally. Never forget, Kimari is still watching. Yeah, this was the one moment where Kimari misunderstood the assignment. Which is visually so beautiful, this scene. All of these pie of light, crystal y things in the walls are just it's really nice. Would be hilarious if we could mod a different character besides Kumari to creep. <laughs> Anything I wanted to. And yet, even if I was with you, I could never forget. I'll go with you. What? I'm your guardian. Unless I'm fired. <laughs> Stay with me until the end, please. Not until the end. Always. So he went from what's the end to that character growth. Always then. Yeah, I love the way she says that. And yes, cre <laughs> Creeper Kimari. Maybe you should head back to camp first. Roger. Yeah, I always thought this bit was uh, was good. The whole like um, when he's about to walk off. Yeah, good call. Kimari walking away without Yuna there speaks volumes. Love that scene. Yeah, it's like the ultimate form of trust. <laughs> Wait, I'll go with you.
Yeah, this bit here. <laughs> Tyler's just deliberately walking super slowly just to give her every chance. <laughs> but yeah, if we're modding anyone in, you probably mod in like once with his camera. The publicity. <laughs> Everyone realizes what's happened. Either, I don't know if Kumari told them anything here. Like these reactions. <laughs> I'm sure they all realize what happened. Sir Oren? Waka? Lulu? Kumari? Riku? Everyone, we leave at dawn. And I'm sorry for putting you through all this. And I'm... Enough. You need your rest. Yes. Good night. Okay, there we go. A lot of cutscene there, but the journey continues. <laughs> 